Simon people. So the first test between South Africa and West Indies starts tomorrow. So during, um, and we've got potentially an issue on the horizon. But we'll see. Um, I'm very intrigued to see actually how Dean Elder goes um, being back in the ranks. Obviously, no one captain. Um, what was he captain for? Best part of three years, wasn't it? Since Fast stepped down. Um, I backed Dean Ellis to be captain initially. And then obviously when <clears throat> obviously I think he did a decent job actually. Obviously led him to within uh well, series when he could say of uh, getting through to the uh, the WTC final. Wasn't to be. Um but I thought he's actually been quite uh, a reasonable um captain for South Africa, especially in the transition phase they've, they've kind of faced. That's been good for a while now, but anyway. Um I am very intrigued, this whole thing about Dean Elgar and actually now uh, no longer being captain. I saw um, some comments from him that apparently he was quite frustrated the fact that he's been dropped as captain and wanted to discuss um, his plans going forward for South Africa. I think he very much feels like it's uh, a job that he wants to carry on with. He feels like his work was only half done. Uh, he's very vocal, obviously, in Australia as well about first-class cricket um, and maybe some what CSA can, can kind of contribute towards uh, improving first world cricket. And that's the reason why they fall so poorly, you know, so badly with the bat in Australia in particular, never mind England. Um, obviously, it's much more serious in England, wasn't it? But anyway, um, but maybe in fact, he's very vocal. And I think, I think very much his age is working against him here. He's only actually three years, um, three years older than Temba. But as I said before, Temba, I feel like transformation wise, and obviously I think it's the right back for the job personally. Uh, I can just see Temba taking off the test captain. I could see that a mile off. Um, but I feel like with Dean Elgar, this actually draws parallels very much with when Nasu Hussain uh, relinquished captaincy in 2003, but it was high no four, didn't he? When uh, Charles got those 200 at Lords, wasn't it? And Hussein got 100. Obviously, he's just jacked in, didn't he? But I remember that reading his biography, Playing With Fire by Nas Hussein. If you haven't read it, do watch it. And it was very hard for him to come back to fall back into ranks initially when Michael Vaughan took over uh, in 03. But he, he did it for a year, and that was kind of it. And I very much see this same situation. I think Nasser was 34 at the time. So very similar age to Dean Elgar. And I feel like Dean Elgar ain't going to too much longer. I think... He, I'm not sure if he'd necessarily be... Uh, a problem in the ranks. I think he'll keep his mouth shut, but I think he'll be frustrated deep down. And I wonder if that caused kind of a an issue in the in the changing room. You know, I wonder the dressing room's going to become a bit um, polarized. I don't think so. I think because I'll see a lot of new players coming to the side, and they'll get behind Temba. Oh, Temba's been leading the White like, Bulls side for some time now, so I think that it's going to be okay. But I just wonder about Dean Elgar. I think unless he scores an absolute shitload of runs, I can see him. Uh, making way fairly soon. I think um, John Herman and the like should really be, and Eddie Moore should really be prime themselves really as um, incumbents in my opinion because I, I just don't feel that was going to last that much longer. Um, I said unless he can score an absolute stack full of runs, I think his head is on the line. I think he's going to be potentially on the chopping block and I just I wonder how he's going to be that, that you know big influence. I know Temper was mentioning in a um, in the press conference, like, you know, a bit naughty the questions about how it's going to be, you know, what, what else are you going to say? Uh, no, I'm, I'm absolutely, I, you know, petrified about uh, Dean Elgar's going to, you know, act um, amongst the guys and, you know, cause shit in Jess's room. Of course, I'm going to say that, you know what I mean? Like, he's going to be fine and he's going to obviously um, say we're going to really well, etc. And listen, Dean Elgar might destroy his weight behind Temba knowing that's the right thing because I do think that he's got... You know, South African cricket and it very much in its heart, in his heart, and he wants to succeed. So he knows that game behind the side and contributes in runs. He does that. I just wonder if his ego will get the better of him. Like I said, he's um, almost 36 now. He doesn't have a T20 kind of critical back on. So it's kind of it for him. When he retires really from Test cricket or the game retires him, he's kind of done. You know, he's not a white player at all. I don't think he's going to make it onto the franchise T20 circuit. A bit like tears the brain. Um, so where's he go from here? So yeah, that's kind of it. I just I'm I'm very intrigued to see how Dean Elgar is in that dressing room. But I, my personal opinion, would be that he's not really doing much more than a year. I think, but this time next year, I think he's I think he's probably done. Um, the problem is Sarka as well. Don't have much test matches after this, these these two test matches. You don't play another test match. I think till end of the year against India. So. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not great. I, it might be somewhere in the middle there. I can't remember. I can check the FTP. But I know there's some time bef before the next set tests. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, so I think, yeah, time is running out for Elgar to really make his mark, uh, you know, on this team going forward. And I think it'll be, I think so, probably this is kind of like Dean Elgar going to the home straight. I think the slow kind of 
uh, ousting of Elga from the Protea setup. But we'll see. We'll see how he fights back um, in his home ground tomorrow. And I look forward to the test. All right, guys. Catch you later.